morning guys welcome back to my channel so today I will be showing you guys my everyday fall makeup tutorial or makeup look so I'm going to show you guys how to look from this to this So for my hair, I am tech slax, but my edges are getting a little stubborn. Um, the gel I used to use before doesn't lay down my, my edges anymore. So now I use the Gorilla Gel, which is a little messy, but it gets the job done. So since my, um, my edges are a little rough, I don't want to put my closure a little too far, you know, because my naps are going to like come up throughout the day so I try to bring the closure as close to my hairline as possible and as you guys can see it's not looking the most natural because my edges are a little thin so I'm going to show you guys how to get the illusion of thicker edges if your edges are not really um, thick so you're going to need a matte black eyeshadow make sure it's all matte no shimmer and you're going to need some sort of eyeliner or small defining brush or even like a scented eyeliner brush or a concealer brush just whatever any little brush should work so what I'm gonna do is just take a little bit of product um, of the black eyeshadow and slowly fill in my thin edges you don't want to go too heavy just slowly fill it in so as you guys can see, I did one side or my right side. I'm going to take a little bit more and barely tap in on the eyeshadow. And I'm going to do everything to the other side. And I'm trying to get a very close or thin line as possible for my part. So I have oily skin and sometimes when you have oily skin you feel like a moisturizer is a no-go because it's just going to make your face more oily but that's actually a lie because if your face feels like it's not moisturized it's actually going to produce more oil. So after I toned my face I used this moisturizer. This is a, a gel moisturizer so it's not very thick but it's going to give you that moisture you need and it gives you a moisture without shine. The next moisturizer I use is my The Body Shop um, Mattifying Moisturizer. I have been using this forever and it really doesn't control my shine. It might work for other people, but I use it just for the SPF. Then afterwards, I use my Milk of Magnesia. Honestly, this product works miracles. Like I haven't notice that it clogs my, my pores and I've been using this for a very very long time and shout out to my girl Irene for her here on, on YouTube who reintroduced me to um, this milk of magnesia because I stopped using it and I saw her using it on one of her videos and I said oh my god I used to love this product I'm gonna go ahead and start using it so after I applied my SPF I went ahead and I used the milk of magnesia only where I get oily and I apply it on my brow area just because it's going to help my brow product to stick a little bit better because you know sometimes it's really hard to apply your brow product because your brows are usually um, slippery from your moisturizer or primer. So before I go ahead and clean up my brows I'm going to use this e.l.f. hydrating face primer Yes, I know I have oily skin, but just because you have oily skin, that doesn't mean you cannot use hydrating products. And I'm gonna rub it in, and I'm just gonna go, especially where I have the milk of magnesia, to get rid of that whiteness. And you wanna be careful not to use a lot of this primer, because if you use too much, you could turn into a greasy ball. So this step is optional, but I'm going to use a little bit of the e.l.f. Poreless Primer and I'm going to use that on my pore area where I get oily or where I get, yeah, where I get oily and I have rich pores. 
picked up the MAC Studio Sculpt Foundation with SPF 15 and I freaking love this foundation. When I was doing my peel the day I had to go to school, I used this over my foundation or over my face um, and it was completely perfect. The only thing I don't like about it is it doesn't really have a, a pump so you don't really know how much you're using because you're just like you know squeezing it out from the tube another thing i have been using like every day is this cover fx um, custom drops and i just like it because it gives me extra extra coverage and i use about three to four pumps which is um full coverage I'm just damning it on because I want full coverage. Since I started using full coverage, it's like full coverage foundations. I just can't go back, honestly. So next for concealer, I'm going to use this Illegal Concealer. And this is in my shade, or really close to my shade. This is Beautiful Runs. And I'm gonna use that to conceal. While that gets tacky, I'm gonna use this time to fix my brows. You know when you buy something expensive and it's just like you're afraid to use it because you think you're gonna break it? But for you guys, I'm gonna use my Mia Pizza Blender. And I'm just gonna put in my concealer. I'm sure you guys are wondering why I'm using something close to my skin tone but I'm gonna show you guys as well as why in a little bit and do I feel a difference using this beauty blender I don't know I, know I spent a lot of money on it so now I'm gonna highlight I'm gonna use this um, Elecrol Pro Concealer in the yellow and even if you're darker, darker, if you have a darker skin tone, don't be afraid to use this because it blends in beautifully. Yes, I know I'm looking cray cray, like really, really cray cray, but don't worry, everything's good. And I like to take a bright concealer a little bit over here because it's going to brighten up that area. Today I'm feeling a little luxury so I'm going to use the Lauren Mercier um, Trans... 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 Lucent powder? I can't tell when my alarm is going off. gonna really press it in. And make sure nothing moves throughout the day. So before I contour, I'm going to go ahead and use my MAC Mineralized Skin Finish and I'm going to use that to set all over my face and as you guys can see, I wasn't really baking, I was setting because um, I ain't got time to bake today. <laughs> So as you guys can see, the yellow concealer does, does really give you like a nice highlight, you know. So even if you were darker skin tone, if you blend it in nicely, it's just like the midnight powder, you know. It doesn't really add any extra color, it just really gives you like a nice highlight. Okay, so this is my favorite part, which is contouring. 
So I'm just gonna warm up my face with this fluffy brush. And the areas I like to contour or hide. I'm just gonna slowly sweep it in. So I'm gonna go ahead and use my Light Radiance Powder and this e.l.f. no, Real Techniques Sculpting Brush. Sculpt out that cheekbone. I'm going to go ahead and use a blush. You want to make sure the blush you're using complements your skin tone. So this are Yeah, so since this is like a natural look, you want to make sure the blush you're using looks like you were like you woke up like this. Like you don't want people to know you're wearing blush. Next we're gonna do a little bit of highlight. I have been loving the MAC um Illuminator for Mineralized Skin Finish in Cheeky Font and I'm gonna use this elf blush blush and just highlight my cheekbones both my brows to my lashes to my pulses so it just looks extra bold I am going to line my lips with this lip liner this pencil is so freaking creamy and I'm gonna blend that in downward just to kind of soften up the lip liner a little bit. And then I'm gonna go on with my lipstick of choice. So we're okay, finally done. I'm just gonna let that set in a little bit and then I'm gonna use my fingers and just my finger and just try to help it blend with the lip liner and just make everything become one. Hey guys, so I'm all done. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Feel free to try this out. You can definitely mix it up to whatever would work for your face shape, like your skin tone, or if you want to replicate this look, you can go ahead and I hope it looks as beautiful on you as it does on me.